Hello, Courtney. Uh, this is Marion. Thank you so much for the opportunity to help you with the, the website audit. And yeah, let me go ahead and start immediately. So this is really going to be the first time that I will be checking out your website. All right, so this is real time um, site audit. And what I noticed is that when I clicked the link um, from Facebook Messenger, this is what I see. That is why we have this FBC LID equals and all these random characters. So that's fine. Oh, let me just go back first because what I notice is when when I when I click on the link, what I see first is the this right here. Um, your mailing list is at uh, pop up is at the right side of my screen. So we would like to have it on the middle. Um, like even if we minimize the screen, look, it's still on the right side. We would want to have it in the middle if we can adjust that. So let me check what uh, management platform you're using for this. So I see that you're using Wix. Okay. Um, what I notice is that when you're, uh, as you mentioned, you said that you're the only one managing the website. And I noticed that uh, for people who like to DIY their website, they're using Wix or Squarespace because it's easy to to do. Um, if Wix has a certain widget that will allow you to put your pop-up at the middle of your website, whether it's minimized or maximized, by minim minimize, maximize, I meant the window, um, it will be at the center. All right, so let me go ahead and click that one. But le let's go ahead and test your email as well. But I'll not be including that in, in the video. All right, so I close that pop-up, and this is what I see. Um, healing Arts Practitioner Courtney Adney Home About Course and Programs The Path Toe Reading Reviews Contact So I notice right here that we have a very big header Like everything is also in the middle um, Right now my screen is at 80% So if I go 100% on that um, All of these things are in the middle So I'm not sure if it's something with the template that you use in Wix that is not allowing you to utilize these spaces right here. Um, it would be great to have... Um, it's nice that your name is in the middle of the screen. Uh, it's like, yeah, this is me, Courtney Adney. You will be working with me. That's great. That's a great cat catch catchy item element in your website and however you have these spaces in your left and in your right so at least a logo here um, if you have a logo already created you can put it right here and also the tabs you might want to put it in horizontal oh am I right vertical <laughs> or uh, let's just say that the uh, these are all in one line you know um, like the standard one and healing arts practitioner I would suggest to put that here right below Courtney Addy but then again it would boil down to how easy Wix is it's been a while since I've used Wix so I'm I'm not sure if it's something that you can do inside of Wix. If you can do that, then that would be great. So that's with the header. So as much as possible, at least half of this, you know, not, not um, this is just too big of a margin for your header. All right, so this right here, um, this is a beautiful picture, but it would be better if this was in the background, you know, like, uh, opacity 60% or whatever um, it's it's your background image and you have this message right here this is the beginning of anything you want Courtney Adney so 
Um, if I got to your website, that means that I got it somewhere. So I would definitely know what you're offering, um, what what you can possibly um, ser service me. So that is a good, you know, like welcome party message. Like, hey, this is the beginning of anything you want. All right. So that's it. About me. So we start your homepage with an about me. I would really suggest that, you know, you started with this. Yeah. Hey, you clicked on me. So this is the beginning. Uh, this, you click on my link because you want to know more. So this is the beginning of anything you want. So you want to continue with, with something like what it is for your audience, for your target market, like exactly what you can offer instead of, hey, this is me, you know, instead of telling them what you are or who you are, your experience or whatnot, start it off with great job and clicking on the link, <laughs> you know, this is what I can do for you instead of having the mission and manifesto and saying my clients are waking up. So it's like sending a message that you that you, you are not yet that, you know, like welcoming them. Like it, the message is to be you, you, you. This is what you can get out of clicking into this. Uh, on the link that you saw on my on my Facebook, on my Instagram, on my LinkedIn, on my in my Pinterest. All right, so give them that offer exactly what they need to be doing in your website. It has to be immediately. I I, I hope I'm making sense. You know, it, it really has to be something that what's in it for me as a customer or as an audience. As your target market, why am I here? I, I don't, um, you know, I'm not sure if you're familiar with ClickFunnels. Um, Russell Bunsen, he's creator of ClickFunnels. He's always about telling his audience that use your website to to offer your services immediately. Don't make it something like a gallery because the point of having a website is to actually make the journey of your customers, your target market, um, being able to get from point A to point B to point C of what they actually need, not just something that they would like to to check out at a later time. Okay, so I know you want you want them to know who you are, what you do, what your customers' experiences are, but you would want to start with what is it, what it is for your customers what you can offer to them not just this um saying that this is the beginning of anything you want so okay what is the beginning of anything i want so you gotta continue with what it is what is it for them for the customers and then you can put some You have entered everything you, you you can enter about your 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 offer and all of that shifted. You can provide some testimonials right here, like in the middle of your screen, and then at the bottom, not not at the bot bottommost part, but right below your offer benefits testimonials. You can write down your about me section, like how long have you been in business and why. And you're just going to reiterate the benefits that um, anyone can have by getting that offer. And when I talk about offer, you really have to highlight the offer that you would like to highlight. Like what's that first quick win? You know that it, your target market can have while getting your service. Your yeah, uh, may it be a free consultation, may it be a free ebook, or a low 
a low price offer. So it, it, it's highlighting that offer. You're like you're offering like let's say for example you're selling sports gear. You're not selling the whole store to them. You're actually highlighting um, the tennis racket. <laughs> you know, you have to highlight what is the benefit of the tennis racket. You're not offering the whole store um, because you you have to be laser focused on who you're trying to speak to. So maybe as a sports store, you would like to highlight on tennis enthusiasts at the moment with your with your messaging, with your ads, and all of that, and they go to your website. I mean, you, they go to your landing page or website or whatever it is. Your offer is the tennis racket. And you're going to mention that in the About Me section, I've been in the sports business for 10 years, something like that. And having your own tennis racket would blah, 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 blah. So that's the about me section doesn't have to be very long and then after the about me section you can put the offer again down at the most bottom part of your website like at the first part of your website you've already put your offer but you're going to repeat it here because obviously some people just scroll down to the last page to the last part of the page it's just skip everything else and at least you have this part right here at the bottom to to let them know about your offer again in su summarized version like uh, the offer is for seven dollars blah 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 um i really cannot <laughs> show you right because again i'm, I'm auditing your website Okay, so contact me for appointments, blah, 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 blah. Okay. If you can make some changes to your website, I hope you can apply those that I've um, mentioned earlier. Like, make this first page your landing page. The, the very first thing that your target market is going to see. Let it be about them. All right, again, get that offer in, put your call to action and make them clear what you have to offer and why you need to grab it. And these are the these are the testimonials. Uh, these are the things that have that people have been talking about the the offer and what are the benefits of your offer and then your about me section and then your offer again at the end and summarize everything like why they need to have it so let your first page again be your landing page so as you, uh, as i can see here there are different tabs there's the about and it looks like it's um the about is routing me to the about me part of the the first page um, you don't need to do that. Um, you can just remove this right here. If you if you follow the tips that I gave you, um, you can just remove that. Um, this one courses and programs. So these are the other offers. Um, let's say that you've already highlight highlighted something. You've made the changes based on the the audit. If you're open to changes, of course. If for example, you've made some changes based on what I mentioned earlier, then at least they have other options right here that they can see that you have other offers as well. And I'm not sure what this path is. Um, welcome to the path. The path is a three-month one-on-one positive transformation program. But what to expect okay all right so here's the offer but it's not in your landing page okay so you can actually make this um an upsell to your first sell or whatever um 
let your landing page be a page for your offer. Let's say it's a like I said earlier, it's a quick win, so it can be a free or a low priced offer, wherein they will be putting in putting in their details, their email address, their name, their phone number, and anything that you would need to have on your mailing list. All right, you can upsell them with this. Um, yeah, you, can, you can upsell them with this and like before they check out you can ask them whether they want to to have this and that or it can be a different offer that you can send them uh, you can send this offer through the email since you already have a mailing list. They will be leaving their email address because they acquired your free consultation, free, free something. And toe reading, what is this? Pay here. I will email you what next. Receive payments and asking people about this. All right, so I noticed that you like this font. Uh, the font is cute, to be honest with you. However, it's just... It's just better when, you know, people can read better when it's when it is structured like the proper sentence, like there's a, the capital letters and the small letters and maybe put a picture right beside a testimonial, like it's really better. Um, the contact is the one that is at the bottom. All right. So I see here that what I've been mentioning earlier is in the different parts of your overall website. They're in different tabs. So basically, you have everything that if I if I were to redo your website, you actually have everything that I need in order for me to redo the website. So if you want to redo your website on your own DIY, um, if you if you want to follow my advice, it would be. I have seen so many funnel strategies and the best practices is really creating that landing page, that first page that the people or your target audience is going to see once they click on your website. So, um, for example, you have posted this on Facebook, all right? Um, if you want to get, your post is about toe reading. Let's say this is your offer. Um, for $22, you will say on your on your Facebook page. Um, right now, I'm doing a, a major discount of toe reading for $7. Just go to this website, blah, blah, blah. I mean, this is an example, okay? That's not exactly how I will be writing my content for that. I don't think Facebook will allow me to do that. Um, it, I'm just saying this. Um, based on the purpose of the post, okay. Of course, we, if we have to do some social media content, we have to be very careful with what we're gonna say in Facebook. <laughs> All right, but if it's um other other places like Instagram, Pinterest, or LinkedIn, it's fine. But Facebook, it's like so fickle minded, so we have to be careful there. But if we interpret the message, let's say the content will be about driving them from your Facebook post into your website, CourtneyAdney.com. So you, your message is like telling them, um, it's my offer was at twenty two dollars, but I'm going on a sale, a five day sale or a five day discount with my toe reading. Instead of twenty two dollars, it's going to be seven dollars, something like that. So you're going to create a subdomain or you're going to set this landing page as your your offer page. So when they 
they click on that link, CourtneyAdney.com or CourtneyAdney.com slash aka landing page, they will see the offer. Okay? Because if you're just going to to send them over, your target audience, send them over to your website from a post that tells me that I do, I offer this or I offer that and then I, this is what I see. And I still have to go click on other things and what is the code of ethics? What do I need to do with it? All right. So you would like to have a landing page that will show the people the offer, the benefits of the offer, what what it what it would be for the target audience. I mean, what is the purpose of it? Why would it benefit me as your target audience? Um, how can I say that you are an expert in this field? Uh, by showing me your testimonials and then next is how long you've been in business um, uh, like a summary of have you been how you come up came up with this offer and then have the offer again at the end All right okay so um just disclaimer though Sorry about that. It's really nice here right now. Okay, I just realized I've been already talking to in 21 minutes. So I really hope I didn't bore you. But you know what? Um, your website. If if I wasn't looking at conversion, if I wasn't thinking about sales conversion, whatnot, if this is already acceptable as a website because this is what we have been um, accustomed to for so many years of what a website should be. All right, so this is fine. I mean, aesthetically, I would want the header to be just not this big, not this wide. I mean, it, it has to be just, it's occupying the center of the, uh, the, the space of the header. Um, I really want it to be like widened, okay? But if we're talking about conversions, if we're talking about sales, we really have to optimize your website. Uh, you're paying for a website management platform, which is Wix, okay? You don't want to be paying every month and not converting any sales. Well, if you are with this type of website, and you're not contented with the sales that you're having, then you have to do something about it, okay? But if you think that what you have right now or based on the data that you have collected, that my website is fine, I just post it right there and I'm getting sales that people come to me, um, that is fine. But conversion-wise, I would really wanna change this. Conversion-wise, I wouldn't wanna make sure that when you do have a content on your website and you bring them to your website you want to be very specific about your offer instead of like letting them navigate on their own where they should go okay. because you want to be assisting them to where they need to go not just you know like pointing them to to the direction where you can earn money, but of course, pointing them into the direction to where they should be with regards to your offer. Okay, because you are a healing art practitioner, so what do you think is the best offer to start with for them? And what would be the second best offer to do next? And what would be the third best offer to do after the first two? So you have to guide them, not just having these different tabs and just letting them choose whichever they want if they want this they want that or you, we have to be specific on what they really need um that's why it's important that your messaging on any social media platform brings you to a certain page that could help them with their healing okay 
So if you have any questions about this website audit, I don't want to, to make this longer than it should be. I've already been running for 25 minutes already talking about your website. Um, if you want to talk to me further about this, just please reach out to me on your Facebook Messenger. Okay, and if you want to implement this on your own, do let me know. And I can check it again if you've made some edits into your website and definitely um, look into it again for you if you want. And yeah, um, with regards to colors, it really depends on your branding if you like these colors. Um, I'm just so not feeling the, the, the black uh, um, over the... I don't know what color this is, this this coral brown color, whatever. Um, the white looks great on it. So yeah. But again, it's not just about the aesthetics. It's really about conversion wise, if it if it's converting. Um, you can have the worst colors of them all, but you have the right messaging on your website and in your social media content and your you're answering the people's needs. So that's the most important, the, the content of your website, the structure of your website, how um, is it converting, is it not? All right, so let me know uh, what you think about this website audit. And if you want someone to work on that for you, I'm, I will be available in November, <laughs> okay? So do let me know, and I'm really happy to do the website audit. I promised myself to do this for 15 minutes, but I went over. <laughs> okay, um, that's it. Just let me know. Okay, thank you.